un poco más. I always wanted to do life big. That's why the Latin King press, hip hop and filthy politics always allured me growing up. All these characters playing prototypes in my story. Through skill, hustle, campaigning, manipulation, big was written on their poker faces, on their pocketbooks and praises. Praised by bystanders, haters, and fanatics alike, it was contagious. The poor man's worship, it always called me. But 6 a.m. constantly intrigued me. Hi, man. Waking up from Sunday to Sunday, consistently serving. Pulpit to the boiler room, the liquor store corner to the library, Spanish radio halls to the sick halls of hospitals. I was always serving. Father of four, husband of one, serving. An uncompromising shepherd to one of Chicago 77, servant. Father of the fatherless, yet unsung servant, always serving. Every time I gravitated to a false definition of manhood, his dynamic example left me undone. And every time I sought to wave off Christ's traditional religion, Jaime's supernatural way of loving undid my conviction. How do you front on what's real? Like grown man, showing up to every Sullivan hoop squad game, real. Fatherless squad called him pops. That's real. How could I front on what was real? Instead of Cadillac riding to the parish, you see my father perish, walking in worn down dress shoes from Hermitage to Glenwood and back, Seminario to the west side and back, perishing. You know, he'd always say, Adios sea la gloria, Esteban. You gotta die to self always in order to resurrect things. Perish. I remember Southside Pastor Ford pulled me to the side with lying in his eyes, told me, Yahame's reflection, don't neglect it. Honestly, I respected my pops, but inside I always wanted bigger things to mess with. You know, not pastoral stresses, late night messages, compassionate counseling sessions, funeral blessings, and gospel proclamations. Not to mention, Little pay grades and counter American materialism decisions. Honestly, I wanted life big, like big. But Jaime showed me what life is. Big as all the little things most don't give. The pennies amounting to a million over investing a whole life give. Philippians 2 type greatness. Emptiness makes full. The silent leader makes bigger waves through persistent ripples that most big men miss. Live small and make God big. Pushing me to reflect on my definition of success. Cause Jaime reflected God's message of redemption the best. Which left me perplexed on how few fathers are actually Christ-like present and how I am undeservedly blessed. So when I look into Zion's eyes, they see Jaime's reflection and in so doing see Christ's reality, his death, and his resurrection. Dime cuánto, dime cuánto te amo